everyone, it's Amy, and I'm super excited to share with you a couple of new projects that I've created. Um, first, I created this um, altered trunk, and I picked up this unfinished trunk at my local AC Moore. It's a really cute trunk, and um, to finish the exterior of the trunk, I thought I'd try this new product. Um, well, it's new to me. I don't know if it's new on the market. It's called Minwax Poly Shades, and this stuff is really, really nice. Um, it stains and seals your project in one step and I don't know about you but I am super and super duper into anything that's one step and it really did do the job in one step and it did a great job and I chose the um, pecan color in the satin finish because you also have a choice of um, a gloss finish as well in that product so let me show you how the finish came out it was really kind of a great color I wanted something that was light but still warm and um, I thought this was just perfect. Really, really cool. And then um, uh, the other elements of my box. Um, I was going for a super duper pink girly theme here. And so I looked at my paper stash and I pulled out my Mind's Eye blush papers because I really hadn't used them yet. And um, I really was attracted to this paper here with the, the bold pink um, glittery damask. And I don't really usually go for the stronger pinks. I, I really prefer the lighter pale pinks. But um, I just thought this was so pretty. And it was sort of a challenge for me to work on this box because, you know, being inclined to use the pale pinks, I, you know, I had a lot of fun um, working with the bolder ones and creating, um, you know, this box. And I really do like how the, you know, the stronger pinks turned out. So, yeah, so I used the, the blush paper. That's my mind's eye, too. My Mind's Eye Lost and Found 2 blush. And um, I also um, combined it, you know, used the Webster's Pages Western Romance um, paper. And I fussy cut out these uh, uh, flower flowers from that paper collection. And that paper collection is really beautiful as well. I mean, I never would have considered myself much of a country western person. Um, but that paper is just so gorgeous. So yeah, so I really like how that came out. I'll give you a little bit of a closer look. Um, really, really pretty. And yeah, and then for the um, I Am Roses products, I was super duper excited. My special two flowers arrive. And if you are like one of my friends on Facebook, I had posted um, that I was obsessing over this new flower and kind of couldn't wait for it to arrive. Um, I had I saw it on the I Am Roses website. I ordered it on the spot and it got here in seven days. So I was really pleased with um, you know the super fresh shipping and that even includes Sunday. So I just got it super quickly and I got it you know in time to use on this project. So let me show you um, that flower a little bit more closely since it is one of the new ones. Yeah, they're called the um, it's the see if I can get this to focus it's the special two and then you know so that's you get five in a package and let me show you one that I have out here it is so pretty I just love it and it's really big I think it's like about three inches and um, yeah so that's kind of like how the back of it is so really gorgeous I was so happy that came and then some of the other flowers that I used on here I have um, these uh, it's like a vintage brown rose love those I love the vintage coloring of that and then these bold pink roses really pretty and one of the new pink carnations love those and a pink gardenia and then I also use the the daisy and another um medium pink rose here and this is some prima pearls and lace trim and uh Let's see. And then over here, I made a dress form, and I um, used the espresso color wash to to stain her. And then um, I uh, glitzed her up with some tattered angels um, gold glimmer mist and iridescent gold. And I gave her like a little pink satin dress. And I was thinking like kind of like Marilyn Monroe and gentlemen prefer blondes with the you know over the shoulder. Um, dress and evening gown and then I glammed her up with this brooch that I got off of Etsy really 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 pretty I love using brooches on my project because I think they add so much interest and I love the pearls and bling on this one and yeah and then just up here in the corner I have some more of my mind's eye lost and found paper with the crowns um, because I just kind of wanted to give a little bit of a princess 
girly princess feel to this box. So came out really pretty. And then let me show you the inside of the box. Then on the inside, I use more of the My Mind's Eye Lost and Found blush paper, and I use the paper with the dress form on it, which is so gorgeous. Um, I just love that dress form. And um, and I do love the pink um, accents on the glittery accents. And then um, over here, I just have a couple of the rosebuds and the S10 flower. Um, really, really cute. And then, um, yeah, and that's the finish. Isn't that a pretty finish? I just loved how that turned out. Great product great new discovery for me. I'll be using that on a lot more stuff that Min Wax Poly Shades. Yeah, so that's um, so that's my box. And then I also created a card since this box is a, it's a gift. It's um, for my Secret Squirrel sister, for Jade's Secret Squirrel Cigar Box Swap. So yeah, so I created a card and I don't consider myself much of a card maker, so um, but I really did, I was inspired by the paper and working with the pink, so I wanted to, to create one for my sister, and hopefully she likes it, and so what I did here was I just used the scraps from my box project, um, so you see I have that bold pink damask paper here, and then I have some more of uh, the Webster's Pages paper um, fussy cut out, and then this, this girl over here, she's from the Crafty Secrets Glamour Girls collection, really cute stamp set. And so is the sentiment. The girlfriend is also from that stamp set. And because the card is so pink, I um, did color her and give her a little bit of a flesh tone with my Copic markers and some blush so she didn't look so pale in comparison to all the pink that's going on on this card. And then I used some um, I Am Roses, the medium and dark pink uh, mini roses. And I have some My Arts Pink Pleated Satin Ribbon, and I love that. It's really pretty. And then I blinged it out um, with some bling. And this is some crochet trim from Joann's. And then for the flowers, um, I have a small gardenia and ivory. Just love those. And two little pink rose buds. And I thought they were a nice balance for the um, Webster's Pages rose. And yeah, and a feather. So yeah, so those are my projects for today. Um, I really hope you like them. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.